Say hi, Ed. Hi, Ed. <laughs> Ed is coming out here. This is your first time, right? Yep. Rainbow, Rainbow Falls. Oh, Ooh, it is sunny. Oh, beautiful day for a ride. So far, it's very empty. It looks nice. I mean, a few campers here and there, but it's not too bad. So this one, this one leads to a really nice, pretty area. Yeah, yeah. That's, this, this one connects to that. This trail is really steep. Doesn't show on camera, but it's definitely really steep. See, kind of like give you an idea. I'm still holding the brakes. <laughs> Barely no front brakes because it washes out. <laughs> this stuff, when it's summer, when it's dried, oh man, this stuff is slippery, even for a side by side. So, this is Ed, my co worker, an awesome guy. And that is mostly because he brings me one of the best frittatas on the planet. No, I'm just kidding. Outside of that, he is really awesome. He just got into the OHV world and need needless to say, I am mostly to blame because it is all I talk about. This is my favorite trail system in the whole world. I think it's just because a lot of people don't come to this trail system and grass kind of grows over it. Um, I mean, for the most part, but this is freaking all. I love this trail system. So we're going to be taking Ed on this one. Yeah, I think you guys will like this one. I think long, long ago, this trail it used to be open. This entire trail system used to be open to Jeeps. Um, they put a gate there to prevent Jeeps from coming in, so it just became a ATV, dirt bike only. Uh, trail system so you can kind of see how wide this trail is from the jeep uh, but overall it's in really good condition it's not bad at all this trail is really cool man i, I, I like it it kind of gives you a little blend with the grass then it takes you through like this little foresty trail like this this is pretty cool oh man this is awesome <laughs> And by the way, there is a hidden single track in here that a lot of people don't know about. There's actually two of them. It's not long, it's actually pretty short, but hey, it's something for us dirt bikers, right? So we are out in Rainbow Falls, Colorado, a super, super popular area with OHV. Just Google it on the map and it even shows. But don't go alone. One wrong turn and you can be headed towards a very difficult trail, especially if you are new to OHVing in Colorado. See, we have pea gravel. It's like ice or mud or sand or I don't know, everything in between. But we do have one of the toughest terrains in the world, not because of the rocks or huge ledges or never ending steep graded trails, it is because of this dang pea gravel. It is extremely slick and takes some time getting used to and figuring out how your machine behaves with it. So Ed decided to buy a Honda Pioneer for our Colorado trails. And one thing I instantly noticed was how tiny it was. It was probably the smallest 50 inch side by side I have ever seen. And that is just dang awesome. Sometimes smaller is better, especially when you're on tighter terrain. But definitely don't, do not let the size scare you. It was able to do some nice rock crawling for its size and class. And what was awesome was it looked very flexy when the roads became rutted out. And that was a concern for me because of its size, but it handled it just like a champ. 